stream. Okay, so we've been working on the forehead fly for the past few weeks and there's still stuff to do there. But today I wanted to take a break from that and get a little bit festive. Um, so if you're watching this, don't tell anyone about this level. It's, uh, it's our secret, shall we say. So I'm working on something for the festive period. Uh, I have been doing so this week. I'm hoping that it'll be finished by next week, but I'd very much appreciate if, if there is anyone, uh, some community um, input on this level as I'm putting it together. So as such, I wanted to show you guys early whilst things can be changed. So without further ado, welcome to Christmas. Yay. Okay, so what we've got is a Hungry Spider style level. It's incredibly festive. Hi, right, Pactain. Good to have you. Good to have you with us. There's still a lot to do on this level. Now it might be, it might be here. There's something, um, I've noticed recently that the frame rate in, in the game's really dropped, in, in development's really dropped. When I turn on the cam, it might be to get in time for me to invest in a new graphics card. But as I'm running the game, I think the stream's frame rate drops, and the game, the, I can see the game frame rate drop dropping on this end. So I'm going to have to look into that. If I make this the uh, screen, the play screen really small, it's got less to render. <laughs> Actually, what I can do is I can I can uh, lower the graphics options whilst doing this. Don't know if that'll improve things a little bit. Yeah, so it's quite different to the um, to the other one. So you've got. So you've got the Hungry Spider abilities from before. They're all exactly the same. We've also got um, a build menu over here. And the idea is that you can spend your health to build towers and you're defending this Christmas tree from, um, from, the, from the presents being nicked. So it's along the lines of a tower defense, really. I think this first wave is probably a bit too str too strong. Super secret level. I think it'll only be the Twitch people that see this probably before before getting really close to Christmas. As I don't suspect this will be on YouTube for a bit. YouTube's kind of slightly behind the others. 
But yeah, so the way building towers works in this, there's noise going on outside. The way building towers works in this is uh, you actually spend your health to do it. So it kind of ties in with the other, with the hungry spider abilities. No, in this one, it's Hungry Spider again. I didn't want to spend too much. He's got himself a gingerbread man. I didn't want to spend too much time on the level. Like I say, I've, I've, I've been working on it this week, but I haven't spent more time than that. So um, I, I want to get it done pretty quickly. So I don't want to redo loads of abilities and that sort of thing. Uh, if, I, if I put points into that one, it'll look my health as well. Right, so the first tower can be built with 200 health, so I can't build it until I've got to 200. Health, which will be a few levels yet. Give me back that teddy bear. How's my health looking? Let's get in there. I haven't balanced everything yet, although I do intend the end of this to be really hard, um, similar to the current Hungry Spider level. So it should start off fairly easy and then uh, then ramp up in difficulty pretty, pretty quickly. So the minute things aren't attacking me, but they're able to. Yeah, John is correct, that is my name. Things going. Things going all right. Um, the the movement code is still an issue, um, and is continuing to plague us. It's taking a long time to get that sorted. How much health have I on there? Right, I've got 230 health now. Right, you can actually... Oh, I, haven't, I haven't put any points into, de, into Devour. Okay, so this should be the first wave that actually attacks me. Oh. If I... Getting behind now. It's quite incredible how much the frame rate goes down when I start the stream. I think streaming at higher resolution than 1080p is causing a problem, really. See these that these guys are attacking me now. Oh, hang on. And I definitely need to do something to sort the stream out. Right, let's try building a tower now. I've got a bit of a... Uh, just to demonstrate. Some of the towers still need a bit of work. Um, How much health have I got? Oh, I haven't got enough health really to do it. Um, just making all my stuff. Oh, 
Okay. So. So I'm on what 270 health. So I build a funnel web tower that creates a funnel web spider. I think the slow from this isn't working too well. So I should just be able to eat these. I also might put in something to do with um. To do with that'll move the uh, like the presence back if they're on the floor for an amount of time. That's loads building up by the tree. I think that ma that'll make sense because yeah, yeah, it's 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 going to be one of those novelty levels that are on. Um, that you click from the main menu, I think. There's still a lot of work to do on it. I, I want to decorate it. I want to make the map look more like a Christmas tree. Right, so I'm, I'm going to get together a list of things that I think... I was, I was thinking about that. I haven't built in anything to upgrade the towers yet. But I think that would make sense. Uh, particularly as um, most of the towers are actually just ants. So, for example, that's that's just wood ant mortars. Um, and they're basically just the ants, that a version of the ants that can't move. So they'll be very easy to upgrade. Because um, you just make it the higher level version of the ant. Right, so other than other than completing the uh, other than completing the attack waves, there's quite a few things that need doing. So let's uh, let's get these let's write these down. So. They were never sent in. Um, <laughs> it's the devil's coach horse carrying the corpse of a devil's coach horse. How how rare. I think upgrading the towers makes sense in this. Okay, so first of all, two icons for icons for funnel web tower, and uh, what's that one? That's beach tiger beetle larvae tower. So icons for those. We need tool tips for all icons. We need notifications about tower building. Towers upgradable. was an error. I need to check that one out. That's to do with spawning the nest. Oh, 
Oh, there was actually some stop blocked at the end. I'll look at those in a moment. Uh, okay, so what else do we need to do? Uh, decorate level. things a while ago that needed doing. Oh, I know. Prevent tower building near spawns. Uh, there was something else to do with tower building as well that I thought of. Oh, yeah. Um, rethink tower building block distance. I think there needs to be some clever thing about um, preventing certain towers being too close to each other. Oh, also um, I noticed that Funnel Web, Funnel Web's web was no longer slowing targets. Uh, yeah, I, I think it. I think it's going to work quite nicely. Um, my play test so far, and I haven't really got to the tower tower stuff properly yet. It's been working fairly well, and the the concept of spending your health to build the towers is actually quite an interesting one. It means the non ant enemies. You've got to make sure you eat them to build the towers. So it makes it it's been it makes for really quite an interesting little play style. Um unfortunately because of the the lag that's kicking in, it's making it very difficult to play test it. Whilst I'm streaming. It runs beautifully when I'm not streaming, but the uh clearly this the whole streaming process is uh eating up my computer's resources. I mean, if I press play there and watch the CPU usage. Uh, one set. Hmm. It's GPU actually. Looks like my streaming program OBS is is eating up sixty percent of my GPU. I need to look into that. Leaving only 30% for, for the engine. It's probably the way I've got it set up. <laughs> hmm. They managed to pick up items from amazing distances away. Okay, so we can at least get to work on some of this stuff. Playtesting it, unfortunately, is not going to work out by the looks of things.
Let me just try this. I've disabled the preview. It's still eating up pretty much exactly the same amount of GPU. Oh well. Yeah, playtesting is not going to work out today. I'm going to have to spend some time figuring that out myself. Right, okay. So, on our list... Right, icons, I can't do them. So I need to pass that one on to Matt. Okay, next on my list. Right, tool tips for the icons. Okay, so this is going to require some thought. We can definitely work on this one. Okay, so the tool tips here, these can all be quite specific, I think. So that one's the funnel web one. Um, so I'm gonna have to write these tool tips. Okay, so first of first of all, we've got a funnel web one. Funnel web tower. So tower that houses a funnel web spider. Spider will. Spider will attack, will pick up pick up and execute nearby enemies. Uh, and web will slow creatures walking over it. Cost. Uh, I think the cost is currently set to 200 health. Um, hang on. If the spider dies, so does the web. Cost 200 health. Uh, any other stats we need about that? But anyway, mate, came by because you said super super level and that was intrigued me. Hope you guys are currently busy. Hope. Okay, yep. Yeah, um, see you later, Expo Doucher. Thanks for dropping by. Um, catch you in the next stream. Yeah, see you, Pack Town. Um, sorry about your internet. Mine's not great either, so it's probably combining the two to, uh, to mess this up, to mess it up. But yeah, see you next time. Okay. Cost 200 health. Uh, any other stats about the tower? Uh, 
I'm not sure about upgrades yet, so we'll think about that when we get there. Particularly these, uh, the funnel over in the beach target beetle larvae upgrades. Um, okay, so the tower costs 200 health. Wait, one second. Be right back. Okay, so I'm not sure if there's any other information we need to give about the funnel web tower. Uh, possibly the funnel web spider's health. We'll think about that later. Um, oh, oh, yeah, place um, placement. Six tiles apart from other funnel web. Funnel web or beach type beach tiger beetle. Lobby towers one tile from others. Okay, the, the reason for them being uh, six tiles apart is because um, they've got to pick targets to grab and, and bring back to their nest. Uh, grab and uh, bring back and kill. Um, and if they cross over, they can end up going for the same one. And that just isn't, isn't good. And they do go for the same one. It's just not useful. I think that tower might end up being more useful for its slows towards the end of the game. So you basically put a couple of them behind your other towers uh, to slow the creatures as they come in. Maybe at level three, uh, they get some, some sort of insane health boost or something like that. Okay, so that's funnel web towers, then beach, tiger, beetle. Larvae Tower. Okay, so the Beach Tiger Beetle Larvae Tower. Um, okay. Houses a Beach Tiger Beetle Larvae. Which hides until target hides until it sees a target on its own. We'll grab and execute the target. We can attack medium sized creatures. Small sized. Okay, so um, so the uh, the funnel webs can only attack small creatures in this, and the um, and the uh, beach tiger beetle larvae towers can attack medium ones. So that's kind of the differentiation between the two. But the beach tiger beetle larvae towers are much more expensive. So that one costs a thousand health. It's got the same placement rules as the uh, funnel web. Okay, so now the other towers. So we've got um, mortar, rapid fire, taunt, and stun towers.
Okay, so... Uh, and the mobile wood and mortar. And the mobile wood and mortar that fires slowly at level three. Gains splash damage. Attack. I believe they cost four hundred in this. Uh, placement. Is one tile apart from other towers. I think. Well, actually, no. There's, there's there is one that. Um, one that'll go further. Okay, so then wood ant rapid fire. Did we give the the rapid uh, rapid fire wood ants? I think we changed them because they had a slow before. I can't remember what we changed them to. At level three, they had a slow. But I think they slow attack damage. Means a slow. Effects. This also affects enemy attack speed. Um, it's the same placement rules on the rest of these towers really so we've got the that cost 400 as well and then there's uh, leaf cutter Major. Stun. Um, in a mobile leaf cutter major that periodically stuns nearby enemies. I can't remember what the stun gets at level three. What they what they get at level three? Uh, my mind's drawing a blank. Oh, it's in the air. Uh, 
there, isn't it? That's the taunt. Stun. Oh, it gets the um okay. At level three. Okay, so it's stun so it slows them as well. health. Uh, in the upper levels the, um, the spider actually has quite a lot of health to play with. I think the basic idea in this is going to be you're not going to be able to place towers for a short amount of time, for, for an amount of time at the beginning of the game whilst you get your health up a bit then you'll be able to start placing a couple of, the a couple of these towers. And then towards the end of the game, you should have like a proper wall set up of all these towers. And the enemies will be trying to bash through it. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be quite interesting. Also, the amount of options you've got in this are quite huge. So you, so you could build for towers, in which case you want to put lots of points into, into Devour. To, um, so you can get your health back up after you build a tower really easily. But you could also go the other way and just put loads of points into damage dealing abilities and try and take on most of the waves yourself and just have a few towers to slow the enemy down. It should be really quite an interesting amount of options you have in this. And there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven towers in it. So there's quite a few options towers wise as well. Right, okay, I've just looked at the issue and it looks like um, it might be due to my my, uh, my monitor, interestingly. Looks like G-Sync can destroy the, uh, destroy the frame, the frame rate with OBS because uh, G-Sync tries to sync with OBS window rather than, uh, rather than the game, or rather than Unreal Engine, so that's an interesting one. I'll have to uh, investigate that. Looks like I might need to disable G-Sync when, uh, when streaming. <laughs> okay, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, f I'll finish the descriptions at another time. I'm gonna get into some of the, uh, the other points on my list. Uh, I'm not going to do notifications either. I'll do that in my own time. Let's decorate the level a bit. 
That's a nice visual thing we can do together. So, as I said, I wanted this to look a lot like a Christmas tree. So first of all, I'm gonna, there's, there's a few things I have to do. Uh, so we'll go to the underground builder. Random perturbation is what I'm looking for. There we are. So that should align everything to the right height there. Again there. Okay, so this sort of stuff should show up on the mini map. So I'm going to want to work with that a bit. Uh, again, with the random perturbation. Turn that off. And up here as well. Okay, so that's that. And I should be able to just paint some indestructible stuff. So we should probably put a star on top of the tree. So you see my wonderful art skills. Yeah, that doesn't look like a star at all. <laughs> Maybe I can just make like a one tile big star. Getting there, I think. It's going to take a, a bit of fiddling around. Ah, one thing. This brush is too big as well. Yeah. Fortunately, undoing is not an option in this. I think that's as probably as close as I'm going to get it. Ah. For now. Then I can draw some baubles and things. These baubles are easy to draw. You can draw like a gingerbread man. That's 
probably is it. Accomplish your gingerbread man as we're gonna get here. Uh, maybe a candy cane. Candy. One second. Do some more baubles and things. I have a little one there. Um, so do maybe a snowflake. I think I'd need quite a large area to do a snowflake. Let's do another bauble here. Do a snowflake. She'd go something like this. That doesn't look too bad, actually. That's not too bad. Maybe we can draw a little present somewhere as well. Oh, gotta be under the tree, hasn't it? Gotta draw a present under the tree. Maybe we can draw a 3D present. Oh, that'd be exciting. How do you like my art skills? I have four weeks intense work and I have to, to replace a broken pipe in my home. So it doesn't wait for me to watch streams. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, it's a bit of a quiet day today. Um, I think I need to, to get back on to doing streams on Thursday. I mean, yesterday I was working, I was working on this level there. Uh, a lot. So I didn't want to break my flow by streaming. Look at that. 3D cube. Gonna look really out of place with everything else. <laughs> I need to make a a ribbon. Ah, auto save got me. Yeah, life waits for no one. I'm just going to try something. So it might, might really speed up the stream.
options not there. Oh yeah, I need to look into that in my own time. It's all right. We'll carry on level decorating. There's not enough space at the top of the present to draw a bow. I think this is a bad idea, drawing a 3D box, you know. I'll try drawing a non-3D one down here and we'll see how we get on. I think you'll be able to tell what this is a lot easier. With my art skills, perhaps not. When trying to do the achievements, Good. how hard it is to try and draw things small <laughs> like drawing things small is a real skill anyone who's got pixel art capabilities is now a god in my eyes That's a bad idea at the end. I was trying to draw the like two little bars coming off it, but no, nope. didn't get anywhere. Right, I... right let's see how those look on the mini map. That's what I'm really interested in. That actually looks all right on the mini map. Even that looks all right, but I think it looks out of place compared to um, compared to all the other things. I actually think everything looks all right apart, but I think that looks out of place. So I might just replace it with, or just put some very basic boxes down. To be honest, the bow ribbon is so small you can't really tell what it is. Um, yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm going to go with the non three D look. Come on, just fell. Right. Okay. Let's draw some more presents then. Just some thin ones. Draw a long box here. I think if I make this really small, if I make it one pixel, yeah, yeah, one pixel works fine.
couple more as well. Do some small ones. Maybe a round one here. Maybe a tangerine. Draw a really tall one here. Probably sitting on the same level as the other one. I guess we can draw a bucket as well for the tree to be sitting in. I also want to decorate this area to be uh, festive. We've got a few, we've got a few uh, festive assets that came with the pack that we got. Pack was called something like Low Poly Christmas. So if you want to. <laughs> You're after a very basic asset pack for basic Christmas assets. Not bad. And it's cheap. Uh, we can definitely fit some more things in here. So there's a bauble. Maybe a maybe I'll attempt a stir. Or a snowflake, depending on your <laughs> depending on how you see it. It is whatever you see. Looks like a snowflake now. Uh, maybe another cane. Just shove one here. Should I do some snow falling as well? It's a nice easy way to decorate the rest of the map. Because you can't dig in this. I, I should wipe out all the... Um, the map edge as well, because there isn't any need for a border. Okay, so an update on how we're doing with movement code. Liam is in the process of rewriting. Oh dear! Just destroyed a bunch of that present. Um, quite a, a large and important section of the code to do with avoidance. It's something he didn't intend to rewrite initially, but it's been, it's, there's been so many bugs with, with that section of the code that he's uh, decided that he's got no choice and has had to. Um, he started that a week or so ago. So he's well into it now, but Slow this down a bit. All right, what's that saving? I want to continue writing stuff. So, so that was Leaf Cut and Major Stun was the last one. Oh, it's saved. Okay. Right, gonna run it and have a quick look at the the map to see what it looks like. 
You can definitely tell what that is. I think we can probably fit in another present on the left there. Other than that though, I think we've done them. Maybe I'll slip in a few more baubles. There's actually a couple of things I want to do with the map gameplay wise yet. So the funnel web spiders are quite vulnerable. So I was thinking of digging some like a couple of tiles up there so the funnel web can grab a target and bring it back. So potentially surviving a couple of things. So that sort of thing there. Got to be careful as well. To build a funnel web there, it will reach here. I might need to put some thought into that. So maybe that could be a tactic. <laughs> the funnel web will be running so far. Yeah, I need to, I need to be careful with that sort of thing. Maybe not there. That's too close to an actual spawn point. Maybe not here as well. Maybe closer up here so so it's it doesn't matter if uh if you get that. Also can can put a couple down here as well. Just little coves that you can pop one in. Okay, I think that'll do for now. Oops. Right. <laughs> So that's decorating the overall kind of how the aesthetic of the map look looks. We're gonna we're gonna move on to actually decorating the uh, the little spider's home area down here with the Christmas tree. Uh, so if I have a look for these assets. I think it's just called Low Poly Christmas. Christmas, low poly Christmas. Okay, so here we've got a few things we can play with. So let's get a fireplace in there. Okay, so the fireplace is a, uh, it's a big black thing in the back of it. So I'm gonna, it's gonna need to be fairly obvious this fireplace. I think. Probably about half the size. It's gonna be tiny. Problem is, if I shove it into the wall, it's not gonna look right at all. It's not gonna look like a fireplace. That's as much into the wall as I can get it. So I'm going to need to cover the top of it with something. Why not? Mugs. <laughs> Large mugs. may clip through the tree a lot. I mean camera. I don't think it does. Let's have a look. Well, the camera doesn't clip through the tree. That's the closest zoom. Um, 
you can just walk through it, but it's it's all right, I think, because it's high enough off the ground for that. I have a stocking. Gotta have a stocking, like. Dangerously positioned next to a burning flame. If you see if there's any flame particle effects. Hang on, let me slow down the camera, it's driving me mad. Better. Doesn't look like there's any fire. Nope, just fire it. Well, I might worry about that in a bit. Probably not. I don't think it's worth me losing any sleep over the fact that the fire's not burning. Particularly if it's Christmas. Uh, should the fire really be burning? <laughs> Can't put any presents around because they're already part of the level. But we can have a plate. If we try and disguise the top of this fire. Fire has been more trouble than it's worth. It's not working very well. Um, I'll come back to that. I think I'm going to have to come up with something better to, to disguise that. Oh, we've got candles. God, they're tiny. I need, to, I need my camera moving faster again.
Can't do the teddy either because that's used in the thing. Ribbon. Ribbon there, what else do we need? Gift open top. Oh, that's just a lights. facing the wrong way. You should probably put quite a few of these around. Probably do. Just go around the whole area with them. Guessing these actually don't em emit light. I'm guessing they just had to look nice. If they did emit light, we'd have a problem. You gotta control your light emitting sources in a game. Especially when it comes to shadows. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. This is going to take a while. Got to make it look pretty. Working on this level's got me in a festive mood, but it's uh, it's way too early. <laughs> we'll at least wait another week until December. Oops.
think doing that with that is ridiculous. I don't think putting stuff on top of that is going to hide it at all. <laughs> We're better off just putting a white plane on top of it. Or just removing it. Maybe these pine cones are good to put near the candles. If I make like little patches of candles, I can probably just duplicate a lot of them and, and move them around the place. I make like three or four different types of patches of candles. Right, I'm going to save at that point. How long have we been going? 45 minutes. I think I'm going to keep going with the decoration for now. Um, but be back in be back in one minute. Right there. How are we doing?
I'm doing okay. Right. I duplicate this bunch of candles. And stuff. Put them elsewhere. Let's have a look nosy at that. See what it looks like. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I think with the candles, I'm going to have to put a light on top of them. Just so it looks like they're kind of shining. I'll do that. But I can control the lights in this area anyway. Kind of a shame the uh, Christmas lights aren't a certain aren't a, aren't a color a set color or anything. Ah, there's a variation form of them. Okay, we'll have that then. There's variation two as well. There's several variations. Uh, I'm not convinced about that one. Let's just switch, let's just go between one and two, shall we? Okay. Star holder. <laughs> it goes on top of the tree, does it? Cookie. Oh, we got to get that ready for Santa, haven't we? together a plate for Santa. I'm gonna have to figure out the fire somehow. Probably put a plane across the top of it, like I said. I mean, what's... If I just drag in a plane... Actually, it's not too bad. I might do it. Need to work a bit finer on the grid, I think.
And then I don't know why I'm faffing with that. Perfectly snapped together. Yeah, close enough. I think that's fine. And what I could do, potentially. UG tile wall foot UG tile wall blended well that's no good I know it's not bark bark's the I oh, know these these are these are gonna to need to be the sides, aren't they? Uh that essentially looks like it's worked. Only this needs to go slightly back. Make this slightly bigger. So, oh, not that much. No, I need to do. I need to turn random perturbation of these surrounding tiles off. There we go. Random perturbation of surrounding tiles is off. So now. Must be something to do with the text, yeah. That must be the random perturbation in play. Still not quite right. Oh, this is going to take a while. 
think I'll get away with that, right? Yeah, I'll get away with that. I'm gonna increase the size of this a bit. What the devil am I looking at here? <laughs> Uh, something super secret. So secret, I'm only going to mention it in this stream. And this stream won't go on YouTube for a while. So, uh, so essentially, it's it's another Hungry Spider level. Only it's Christmas themed. And you're defending the presents under the tree. From being uh, stolen from various ants and other creatures. And the twist on the level, other than having to defend it from waves of attacks, and the objective being quite different than the previous spider level, is that um, is you, is you can build towers to help with the defense. So there's a whole range of towers there. So it's essentially a mix between... Well, it's a tower defense where you've got a character as well. Who acts as your builder, but also um, a while before you get uh, oh, so I want to make the present come back here yeah still a lot of balance to be done yet Oh, I wanted the presents to go back as well. I wanted the presents to teleport back if they're on the floor for something like five seconds. I need to write that one down. Hopefully I'll get enough health soon to be able to build a tower. No, I haven't got enough health yet. So the, the tower building works in a way that you need to, um, that you need to spend health to do it. In that respect, you'll need to put points into um, into uh, like health regen things, so you can build more towers. Like these first few waves don't attack you; they just go straight for the prize. But later waves, um, yeah, I need to work on the balance of this. Later waves do attack you. Yeah, it's still it's still a way off yet. But it should be quite fun, and and it a, a, a very different take on the uh, the spider level concept. Yeah, this is this is way too hard. Isn't it? <laughs> okay, so a couple more things I need to write in my list of things to do. So objectives need to be set. Failure condition plus victory. 
Christmas hat's always on. Yeah, the HP still draining on the spider. But um, you can actually eat the presents if you uh, if you're desperate. <laughs> The first creatures that you can eat are these, but these are the first ones that also attack you. Okay, so my health's over 200 now, so I can build a funnel web tower, for example. Look, that's taking my health right down, so I need to be careful. I need to put more points into Devour, I think. Although I think I've hit the end of the... Uh, what I've put in place at the minute. Oh, there's something I said a minute ago that I need to do. <laughs> yeah, the... You can build... Uh, so, the towers that I've got in, you can build, is Funnel Web, uh, Beach Tiger Beetle Larvae, um, then uh, Mortars and Rapid Fire, don't think I've made the tower disappear yet when the spider dies inside. What are they carrying? Probably chunks of the spider. Uh, there's also, so there's, uh, there's the mortar rapid fire, uh, uh, taunt and stun leaf cutters so you can build up walls of defense and then finally the most expensive tower is going to be a whip spider tower which is just going to destroy <laughs> but yeah you can see the concept there still needs quite a lot of work done on it a couple of errors there the same ones that happened last time but it should be a, it should be a nice fun level um, Oh, there was something I I thought about then that I, that is gone that I definitely need to do in this level. I can't remember. Uh, it'll come back to me at some point. When playtesting, no doubt. Okay, so I want to look into the tower building. So at the minute, I've got it set up. So it does a check. Hang on, I have a look. I think it's in play. Not in the widgets. It's in play control methods. That's it. It does a check, basically here, to see if you've placed a tower anywhere near another tower, and then it denies it on certain circumstances. However, I need to. I need to do a. Uh, I need to kind of split this off into two groups. So, so there's built webs there, but I also want to duplicate that and do uh, built um, other tower. Okay, so both web web towers and uh, devil's coach horse, no, uh, beach tiger beetle larvae towers are going to have a, a set radius that you can't build near them. The other towers are only one tile apart, so you can put as many as you want in a small. Well, you can get one tile apart, but these other these two towers are six tiles because of the nature of the tower. So I need to do it, split it off into two, and do a check. Now that doesn't mean you can't put other towers next to them. It means if you're trying to place one of these towers, they need to check for others of those towers. 
Um, so I'm going to make two functions. Uh, check web this. I know, I'll just make one function and make it function a couple of ways. Okay, so there's a, there's, there needs to be a bool, which is just, web. so it's whether it's web towers or not. So if it's web towers, So it's web tower and so this this one should be simple. So that's that's checking through the web towers and false. at the other towers uh, distance that needs to be a float compile this So essentially, I want to do this, similar to this, apart from change it around a bit. So it's going to cycle through the chosen towers. And if there's one within the distance, one within the distance, it's going to Return and return false, else it gets to the end and return true. Okay. So that should be fine for the check. Now I just need to put that into practice in all the towers in, in the right way. Uh, the super secret level is... Uh, 
is a festive level, if you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. I'm only going to talk about it in this one stream uh, whilst I'm working on it, and then by next week it'll be finished, and uh, and uh, we won't we won't talk about it again until uh, until it's Christmas. But it's uh, it's another spider level. However, it's one where you're defending a Christmas tree, defending your presents being stolen from a Christmas tree, and you can and you can build towers in it as well. Quite a different concept. It's going to be one of the uh, the chosen choose the level from the main menu kind of things where there's something just appears and you can uh, click on it and it'll launch this level. So after the stream, I'll deny any knowledge of this level. Okay. It's going to be different. It's not, like I say, it's not the same as the other spider level. You've got uh, lots of different creatures coming in to try and take the presents. At the minute, it's ridiculously hard, but I haven't, uh, I haven't tuned it yet. I think to finish it, it's gonna be, it's, it's gotta be, it's gonna be fairly hard because I want people to strategize. Yeah. And you should need to use. I, there's there's so many possibilities with this as well because uh, the the way I've designed it. Um. There's still quite a bit of work to do on it. <laughs> I think I think we should get I think we should uh, get you back in in. To do uh, the voices, Mike. So it's going to be an interesting take on the voice because it's it's Christmas. It's not Halloween, so it's going to be the same voice, but maybe uh, slightly less menacing. <laughs> okay. So what was I doing? I was. Right, I've got on my list Christmas hat always on, so I'm just going to edit the player control spider and give it a force Christmas. Variable. <laughs> Drink a bunch of eggnog before recording. Yeah, we're gonna to need to come up with some lines for it. Okay, so Christmas is true. We go this way. It's false. Go that way. And then also on begin play. So I'm gonna put in a something here. So this is deactivating arachnophobia mode. 
false Christmas is true, we don't deactivate it. That should do it, I think. Let's get our Christmas hat. Back on. Oh. Oh, I haven't forced Christmas. I have to force Christmas upon upon this spider. Christmas has been forced. Oh. Come on, spider. Let's just, let me just check. For the break point. Okay, that didn't run that. Oh, hang on. Ah. I see what the issue is. That should work. Come on, Christmas hat. Okay, well it's definitely running now. Yes. Maybe we should have the red one. Okay. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Spend your presents, little spider. We won't get more next year. get some free uh, Christmas music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, you're the spider in this level.
See you later. See you now on Nagor on Nagor <laughs> See you now on Nagor Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna have some fun with this level, finishing setting it up. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to balance some of these waves. I think the early waves need to be quite a lot easier. Um, and at least we've got a mate. The, the the majors are quite horrific, so I might just do two of those at that point. And we need to have that. That's it. That's that's the thing. I kept I kept the presents need to teleport. Presents. Teleport home after five seconds on floor. It's, it appears on full moons as well. It's for about four days around a full moon. So I'm not sure when the next full moon is. You'll have to check. Yeah, yeah, that's another way of doing it. And skip to the event. There you are. Right. Okay, so so let's do the presence teleporting home next. So when a present's removed, the presence of their own food item at the minute, random festive item, that's it. So I can work with this because this is the only place in the game it appears. I don't think there's currently a tick on it. But there should be on these ones, so. Right, let me just check that they're actually set, set to tick. They probably aren't. Start with tick enable. Let me just check that they are constantly ticking. I think food items are, well, they might not be. I don't know, looks like it is. <laughs> well, let's just get them working first. See if there's time for particle effects. I'll jot that down on the on the list. Okay, so get on it. Yes, owner is equal to nothing, so there's no owner. Uh, 
and um, and we're not near the Christmas tree. Uh, now how does it know where the Christmas tree is? Well, these are only used on this level. So the square distance the square distance to it is less than okay so how far away it's about here so 200 point I think about 1,200, so that's six tiles. Uh, but that's squared. 1,200 squared. 1,440,000. One is equal to nothing and the square distance is greater than 144,000 then floor time is floor time Thanks, uh, not really sure what, uh, I don't think anyone's uh, subbed yet, so I'm not really sure what happens when someone presses it. <laughs> because I only have a, I only have a, a small amount of people uh, watching the stream anyway, when it's live. Most people watch it on YouTube. Okay, so, so if under those circumstances it adds to the floor time, however, if it does have an owner, then floor time gets set back to zero. Loading sound alert browser, browser source. That's uh, that's not particularly useful. <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that you do. I do. I I don't think um, I've, I haven't really set much of it up yet. So I'll uh, I'll work a bit on the stream stuff. Uh, maybe next week. Maybe early next week. So um. So we can get things working.
<laughs> okay, so floor time is zero. Right. Uh, same here, really. If either of those is true, it's just going to reset the floor time to zero. Um, then if floor time is greater than five, then we're going to teleport back to the tree. So that's the tree. Radius, I'm going to put it within 1,000, so it's slightly, hang on, that's 10,000. So it's slightly closer. Should be fine. Oh, we also need to set the floor time to zero when we do that as well. Okay, so that should do it. That should move the present back. We'll give that a test. That didn't work. Ah. Well, for a start, I haven't actually set the Christmas tree on any of these random festive items, so I need to do that for a start. Something called Christmas tree. Oh, there it is. Then I actually don't know if I used the Christmas tree to get the. I did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see what that does. I suspect I've probably set something else, else up wrong. So, five. Okay, well, at least they're teleporting to the right location now. But that check's clearly failing. Okay, so if square distance is less than that, then it, def then it moves them. That's wrong. It's the other way around, right? I think it's meant to be the other way around. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they're not being moved. Right. Let's let...
let these gather it and see if uh Two, three, four, yeah, yeah, Okay, I think that's fine. Now come back. Two, three, four, hey. Okay, yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think we do need some sort of particle effect. There we are, that's one more thing off the list. I just need to do... So, should we think about objectives then? I don't know whether it's going to be... But well, it's going to be an amount of waves. And you've got to survive. I imagine the later ones will have, like, bosses. We'll have some Ubers coming in. Snow particle, yeah, yeah, snow particles would be good. I was thinking of, of perhaps having snow, uh, seeing if there's any like free snow particle effects that I can just take and uh, maybe just make it snow <laughs> permanently. in the ground. <laughs> we are, yes. In a special secret underground uh, area that happens to be exactly the shape of a tree. <laughs> We're also a spider defending presents from ants. So let's not get too hung up on the technicals. <laughs> okay. So let me have a look for uh particles we've already got in the game. Level up is a fun one. I wonder if there's something I can take with that. That might work, you know. I might literally just be able to use that. Okay, so here's the teleport. It's like particle emitter, spawn emitter at location. If I do two, one at the final location, and 
one at its current location. So I'm going to have to do this in between moving it. See what that looks like. Just check out to the game log logic for more. Since you try and make it, the less it, the less it makes. Yeah, it's not, um, this level's not meant to be at all based in reality. <laughs> okay, I should be able to test this just literally by grabbing a present and moving it. Okay, so... So the particle effect happened too late, really. Ah, now this is going to complicate things. Okay, so the particle effect has to happen before the move in order to look right. So what we do is here, instead of actually moving the target, we we do a Timer by event. Oh, actually, we could just do a delay. Delay of half a second, then move it. Before we do the delay, though, we need to reset this. So it doesn't constantly reset it. Do you get me? Let's see what that does. <laughs> Thorax emote. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to need to think about things like that. It, I, how, do, they, do those sort of things... Um, encourage people to uh, to sign up then are they just going to get picked up I'm going to make a note of the, t of the, the ants picking up food from long distance. Uh, I've also thought of something else which is potentially breaking in that an ant could be picking up food when this happens. I ant could be picking this up, picking up the present when, when the teleport happens. Quite well, though. Little particle effect. Would it be easier to set the particle command link just before the movement setting command? Um, I have really. That's what I've done. I've I've I just added in a little delay. Uh, 
and then it then it moves it. So there's the particles. Picks its location. There's the particles. They trigger. Then half a second later, it moves it. Um, the issue is now that I actually think an ant could spot it whilst it's about to be picked up, and then it start heading towards its mouth. And on the way, it would teleport to the tree, then dart across the map. Which is obviously not what we want. So to prevent that... I either need to look into when it's teleporting stopping whoever's picking it up picking it up but i think that could be more tricky than it's worth alternatively whilst it's teleporting i could give it an owner so it can't be picked up yeah that might be that might be the best option so set the owner to the tree or something So, then afterwards set the owner to none, so it can be picked up again. So that should that should prevent ants trying to pick it up whilst it's teleporting. Basically, they haven't got there in time. So grab a bunch of these. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, I didn't break. Cool. That was close to the wall. I also might make them not go behind the tree. Go spider. Um, we, I think we solved it. We were trying to solve the worry that um, a spider would, uh, an ant would try and pick up the item before, it, uh, whilst it was teleporting, and then when it teleported, it would, uh, it would then be sucked across the map to the ant that was trying to pick it up. But I, I'm pretty sure I've solved that now, just by giving it an owner when it starts the teleporting process and removing the owner when it ends it. Um. Okay, so. Instead of teleporting to the tree, I'm going to teleport slightly south of the tree and within a much smaller radius. So, 204, so 400 south of the tree and then within 800 of that. So currently it's teleporting to, it's using the tree as the origin instead I'm going to split the structure pin and make vector. The y coordinate 
We need to go positive in the y direction by 400. Maybe 800 is a bit too much, so I'll try going with 600 and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that should teleport it closer to in front of the tree rather than rather than all around the tree. We shouldn't have the problems with them being in the walls anymore. So let's move a bunch of these, see where they end up. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. I might move it slightly closer to the tree, so maybe 300 south of the tree. Maybe tighten the radius up a little bit. 500, okay. Right. So the next thing to do is I'm going to do objectives next. So this is the thing that's going to fa uh, to win or fail the um, the level. Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to stream for another fifteen minutes. That'll bring the stream up to two hours. And at that point, I'll never talk of this level again until Christmas. <laughs> okay, so on the level, these are the items. Essentially, your lives. Well, actually, don't I don't want them quite there. So what I'm going to do is at the start of the level, we're just going to add them to an array. Wishful thinking. Got a few of them going, I'll connect them. I'm just gonna copy and paste this bunch. Again. Again. I don't actually know how many I'm gonna need. I haven't calculated yet. So that'll speed me up.
Should at the end as well on the scoreboard, there should be a, uh, a display of how many presents you had left. Because then that gives people a, a reason to replay, to try and save more presents. Maybe right at the very end, what we'll do is have a load of baby spiders come in. And pick up a present each. And then it shows you how many disappointed baby spiders you've got. Sorry, coming back to the chat, I hope you don't mind asking how close the next big update. Sorry, it's got me on the edge of the seat waiting. Um, it's, it's, this, it's been this issue with the movement code. See, I've, I've now, we've now got, with the new, with the new update, there's going to be uh, an overhaul of free play. Include, which will include leaf cutters coming into free play. Um, uh, the challenge is, the challenges um, for for the leaf cutter levels, achievements, uh, the start of monthly levels coming in, with the first three of them ready to go. So they'll be rolling out at one, a month at a time. This festive level, there's going to be quite a list of additional content coming that's it's not it's not core content but the um but it's quite a hefty list of additional content coming in the with the next update but it's being held up at the minute by our rewrite of the movement code um which is taking longer than we estimated which is no, which is to no one surprise at all because uh, everything takes longer than we estimate, which is why we stopped giving out public estimations. <laughs> um, but yeah, at the minute I'm we're aiming for before Christmas, but and it better be because else this festive level will be pointless. shall see. Um, so will the Queen Tiles ever be upgradable? Um, I'm not sure it's necessary. Well, I'll keep revisiting it uh, and asking how the group feel about it. It's one of those things that I, that I, um, that we could do but it's fairly low on the priority list. I'm not even sure we want to do it. Queen tiles kind of represent the first dance of your, of your colony, so they, in nature, they're pretty. Uh, bad. Why do I get the feeling you're hiding something new from us? Uh, I haven't hidden anything. From that list, as far as I am aware, that's the new content coming in this update. Unless I forgot about something, I might have done. And don't forget the monthly levels do offer new content each time. But they, they should start to offer each well, same monthly levels. I didn't want to call them monthly levels, you call them extra levels, because then when we get close to releasing the Fire Ant update, the monthly levels are likely to dry up a bit, so I just can call them extra levels. But anyway, uh, okay, so this it needs to be checked. So, what is it? I want a check, check defeat.
all that's going to do I believe that will remove all more pointers from the array. Uh, but essentially, Um, okay, so if it finds one valid item, if, if it completes and doesn't find any valid items, I think I can get the term there. So, so defeat is set to true at the beginning of this. If it finds a valid one, it sets defeat to false. Once completed, if defeat is true, Runs defeat action. I'm just gonna have it check uh, check defeat every three seconds or so. I'll just do a quick check. So when you are defeated, it will take up to three seconds for it to register. That should be dead simple. Uh, check victory won't be isn't necessary in this. So I believe check victory was checking whether all the ubers are defeated. Oh, it's literally def checking whether the objectives are complete. I think there's a... You know what? I can actually put the... Rather than putting the defeat on the timer, I believe you can put it on... The escaping ants, I think. I think when they escape the map, they trigger an event. I think. It's difficult to know though. Let me check the AI. Uh, I think it's called c carrying subtree. Yeah. That's if you're not. So it. So if you're not a colony creature, so it's here. So it runs, runs single creature escape on the swarm blueprint. But I believe that's in the C++. Um, So 
quick look. Uh, no, it would be in Swarm Creature. No. I think it's actually in the... Swarm Blueprint. Swarm Point Blueprint. So it'd be in the tick somewhere. I think this is it. There we are, escape event. Registered creature, this. Okay. So it looks like there is some sort of event that gets broadcast. Announce escapes based on the swarm and it's broadcast before the creatures destroyed so it's it's coming from the swarm so if i can come back to the level script oh, camera's going too slow I think I should just be able to take any damage, take damage, the damage events, input events, touch events. Is it escape or something like that? Oh, there. Find event to escape. Some event. Okay, so It's valid, and if it is a festive item, then we run check defeat. I'll add that in there just for testing sake. Um, Create an event up here. Sorry, I'll come back to chat in a second. Oh, damn it. Set up defeat, and then I'm going to add this into the begin play stuff. Okay, so I should notice it say hello when um, each time a an item is taken off the map. So I'm just going to run run this and watch it. Then we'll pancake me the nest. 
I'm checking the scrap. Okay, so I'm just going to test this, and then that's that'll that'll be the stream for today. Um, hopefully it'll work. So we should see spiders, spiders, ants come down here, collect the present, run off with it. They'll take it right the way up to the top here. they'll despawn and then we should see lots of hellos that's what that's what I'm expecting hmm. Not listening to me. That round present needs some work. It does not look does not look round. Okay. We should start to see lots of hellos. No, nope, that didn't work. Before the last one goes in. Let me see if it's triggering at all. It's gonna watch on the other screen. There's probably a tick box I forgot to tick that makes it announce the exits or something like that. There, announce escapes. Bet that was it. Oh, you can see that. Nan got stuck on the candles. I need to make sure those meshes and have not got a collision on. You can do it. Just tell me hello. That's all I want to know. I 
Oh. Right, I'm gonna have to figure out why that's not working. Either way, on that bombshell, let's uh, let's call the stream for now. So thanks very much for joining me. It's been a nice, fun one. Next time you see this level, it should be in your hands at Christmas time. With uh, hopefully everything goes smooth. So yeah, thanks very much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Ta-ra. <laughs> well, it's not actually, it's been 2 hours 18 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, see you next time. <laughs> Ta-ra.